Good morning, everybody. I'm just waking up. I've got my hot chocolate here. <sighs> Fire's on, doors open. Just taking in a slow morning before I start a big weekend of work. So I wanted to do list a few things and tell you like some of the things that I have on my do list, which probably won't get done in, all done in this episode, but sometimes talking about a do list out loud is both great because you can see how much work you have to do, how much progress you're making, and also occasionally it feels a little overwhelming. So, I have cider and mead that needs bottling. That's a whole process. I have my garden, which I need to start, weed. And then there's the van build. Then there's the step van. Uh, the mechanic is coming tomorrow, which is awesome. Like, I'm so, so happy that my mechanic is flexible enough to be able to come out to me to help me with step van. It's been naughty and not let it, not kept it running over winter and now it's time to get it running again. Inside the van, I have overhead cabinets to do. We have to put the suspension anchor points on the bed. Ceiling. Cupboard, countertop, cupboard, draw, door and drawer facings. And the DIY composting toilet. Yep. <sighs> a lot of things. None of them are small anymore, they're all big jobs. I'm the project manager, I'm the builder, I'm the financier, I'm the photographer, I'm the filmmaker, I'm the editor, I'm the admin. <laughs> In the last couple of weeks I've had to really work hard and I have had, I know that there's some big bills coming in for the van, so I've had to really hustle so I've not done as much van building because I've like had to make some money so that I can pay for things like water tanks, pay my welder friend to come and do some, to do the work that he's going to help me out with and I'm so looking forward to it to being done. Like, <sighs> yeah. I think I'm a little tired today because I woke up and thinking about everything just feels really overwhelming. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button or the notification bell, make sure you do that now. I post new videos every week and I really appreciate you coming along for the journey and thanks so much for supporting. This episode I'm really excited about because I'm answering some of your q and I'm a bit flushed because the fireplace is on. It's warm in here. It's like 30 degrees with the fireplace and my doors open. So I've got my computer here, and I'm just gonna go through and answer some questions. Okay. I thought I'd come out today to show you this. <laughs> so I've been wondering why this week I haven't got much done on the van build. It's been raining incessantly, and I think the clouds are like below us. I'm living literally in a cloud. So I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. The first one is 
I'm about to start on a new video project, which I'm excited to share with you. This is Stefan, and that is a garden, a veggie garden. And my plan is to answer some Q&A questions while I garden. Do I plan on coming to the United States this year? Yes. Actually, I will be going, so if anyone lives in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I'll be there soon. Time to do some weeding, some blackberry trimming, some composting, and start some seeds. Um, yeah, while I'm in a stationary spot, while I'm building out the step van, I'm around enough to maintain a garden, so I travel occasionally, um, or sporadically, I sporadically travel. So, what better opportunity to plant some food and be more self-sustainable? Here's another good question. What do I think of Canada as opposed to where I'm from? So I was born in New Zealand and I lived also in Australia for a bit. What do I think of Canada? Canada is colder, uh, obviously. Um, but similar to the southern parts of New Zealand in some of the way it looks, I think the trees are slightly different, some of the natural flora and fauna are slightly different. But I love the where I am now, um, in the Gulf Islands, the closeness of, uh, of the land to the ocean. The ocean has such a big part in my life and my soul and so precious to me, so being close to it is really important and fantastic and we can try a little bit to start producing my own food and yeah a little live a little bit more in connection with nature and today's connection with nature is water suspended suspended water in the clouds one day we're gonna do the installation of the bathtub too so that I can have an outdoor fire bath won't that be a nice time this moss is just gorgeous look how green and alive it is are we drinking gin tonight no but we drank gin yesterday I've been building in the step van all morning and we've made a bunch of new progress, which is very exciting. And I just finished lunch and the sun has come out just a little bit, but way more than the fog that we were engulfed in this morning. So I'm going to take a break from van build and hopefully go and do some garden work. I don't think I'm about to get much done before I run out of energy, but I'm going to make a start and I'm pretty excited. Yay! So you're welcome to post in the comments below if you have more questions and I'll answer them next time I do some gardening. When is my birthday? My, bir my birthday is the 1st of December. I'm a Sagittarian and in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm a summer baby. Explains a lot. So I've got a huge packet of pile of seeds. So lots of greens, lots of tomatoes for the top of the hill. So I'm gonna go and see if I can seed some of these. What's the most original part of your step van? Um, the most original part? I think it's going to be, once it's done, it's going to be maybe the fact that my bed is going, my bed will go up and down. I know there's a few other step vans that have raising beds, but I think the way I'm doing it is semi-unique. It's not only unique. Have you ever experienced adversity for your gender identity? 
Uh, I did a van tour ages ago before I started my YouTube channel, before I started seriously, and I stated my gender, my gender identity as opposed to my sexual orientation, and people weren't too supportive on that video, but that video was not on my own channel, it was on somebody else's channel. I just made breakfast, <sighs> which is nice to warm up. And her will have hospu. Well, it's soil now, but once upon a time it was hospu. Great for my garden. Right, some delightfully good hospu based soil here. Let's go plant some seeds. Most exciting diving location? Hmm, probably when my recent one where I saw the giant snow crab and the octopus and also coming up soon I went diving on some shipwrecks. That's really exciting. Question, if you could pick a mode of travel, would it be a van? Would you travel outside the area you're in now? Uh, yes, definitely a van. And would I travel out there? Yeah, I'm keen to travel to the US and across Canada, but I'm not in a rush. I'm gonna do it when I'm good and ready. And would I travel with a buddy full time? Don't know. Maybe? Depends on who the person was. Here's a frog. Push me a green thumb and dirty filthy nails.
another thing that happened last year is I grew a whole whole lot of tomatoes in buckets up at the top I don't want to reuse the soil because it's really important to refresh the nutrients in your soil I don't know a whole heap about gardening um, I'm just learning but I do know that so I'm gonna take the soil that I grew the tomatoes in last year and add it to the garden beds that I have over here and just mix it all in and it will be a combined healthier garden for next year and then I add the compost on top so <sighs> All right, these have got to come with me. I put this here last year and it's looking happy. That one can come out. We'll eat that nettle tomorrow. Nettles got stung. Oh, don't get yourself stung, Flossie. Is it hard to date while living in a van? Hard to date? No. Um, when living in a small space, having a lover around has its own complexities and I'm really self-conscious about my sip my space I take such pride in my space that I want somebody to be impressed I want somebody to be comfortable I want somebody to really enjoy and feel easeful in their experience in my van while dating me so that's been challenging in the cold during winter uh, well the cubic mini wood stove is just a lifesaver having this fireplace is a well lifesaver and you can see like my face is really quite pink at the moment that's because the fireplace is on and it's really hot inside here yeah <laughs> that looks better I put one more bucket there and then this is gonna be ready for planting all my salad greens in. Pretty excited. Onions. Swiss chard from last year. Yeah. I put one more bucket in the middle of that. That looks like a garden now, not just a weed patch. This is my final batch. Would you believe it? There's some parsley growing, three rhubarb plants, and this is where I had my potatoes last year. How did I make my fire bucket? So you may have seen some of the amazing footage of the fires we've had um, over winter. I went to the hardware store and bought a tin, a birdseed tin. Um, like a metal trash bucket with a lid and then I just drilled 
a crap load of holes in it um, with two different size bits so that there's big holes and small holes works a treat what's it called <laughs> it's called Oscar the Grouch <laughs> poor little muddy camera something really satisfying after a big day's work sitting round by the fire I wonder if I had a spare pair of hands to hand me a dessert treat thank you uh, do I plan to travel more in the step van oh so much and I plan to travel more in the step van for longer periods of time like go somewhere stay somewhere that is gonna be exciting and do I do tarot readings for others Yes, I do. Uh, if you're interested in a tarot reading, they can be purchased through my website. I will put the link somewhere. Thanks for being here. Somehow the pressure of knowing that I have to have a new video out every week helps me stay a little more motivated to build things, to keep on trucking. It's a lot of work, 